Hello everyone, hope all of you are doing good. So today we are going to see black box testing. What is it? Why to use? Type of black box testing? Advantages and disadvantages. Let's start. What is black box testing? The black box is a powerful technique to check the application under test from the user's perspective. Black box testing is used to test the system against external factors responsible for software failures. This testing approach is focused on this testing approach focuses on the input that goes into the software and then output that is produced. The testing team does not cover all the inside details such as code, server logic and development method. Black box testing is based on the requirements and check the system to validate against predefined requirements. So let's see now, what do you verify in black box testing? So basically we verify in black box testing accurate actions performed by the users, then systems interaction with the inputs, then the response time of the system, then use of the data structure issues in the user interface, then usability issues, then performance issues, then abrupt application failure unable to start or finish. So let's see the types of black box testing. So basically there is three types of black box testing available. So we're gonna see one by one. So first of all, and don't worry today, I am just uh, giving you a brief knowledge about the types of black box testing from the next video. We're gonna see every kind of black box testing in detail with examples. So you will understand it better. So let's see today the, what kind of uh, black box testing available. The first of all, functional testing. This is this is a type of black box testing which is related to the functional requirements of a system. Functional testing is concerned only with the functional requirement of a system and covers how well the system executes its functions. Then we have non-functional testing. This black box testing type is not related to the testing of specific functionality. Non-functional testing is concerned with the non-functional requirements and it designed specifically to evaluate the read lines of a system according to the various criteria which are not covered by the functional testing. Then regression testing. Regression testing is performed after code fixes, upgrades or any other system maintenance to check the new changes has not affected any existing functionality. So now let's see how do you perform black box testing. Will you get the basic understanding of the black box testing? Then the next question is, which comes up in mind is how to perform the black box testing. Below you can check the steps to perform this testing. Like we have various uh, way to perform the, so let's see what are the available. The first step to black box testing is to understand the requirement specification of the application under test. An accurate and precious SRS document should be there. SRS means software requirement specification. Uh, if you, if you are following this playlist, so you know it better. I already discussed about it. So then, then we have the next step is to evaluate the set of valid inputs and test scenarios to the test of the software. The goal is to save time and get good test coverage. Then prepare the test cases to cover a maximum range of inputs. If you do, if you are not understanding what is test case, it's absolutely fine by now because in, uh, in some, in after some videos, we're gonna cover the test cases. What is test cases? How you have to write it? We're gonna cover it all. So don't worry about anything right now. Then we have the test cases are run in the system to generate output, which is validate with the expected outcome to ma to mark pass or fail. Then the failed step are marked and sent to the development team to fix them. Then retest the systems, the system using various testing techniques to verify its recurring nature or to pass it. The black box testing can be easily used to check and validate the entire software development lifecycle. It can be used at various stages such as unit, integration, act acceptance system, uh, systems and regression to evaluate the product. Now let's see something about black box testing tool. The most beneficial aspect of black box testing is that it can be performed with the assistance of various automated tools, which simplify the process and enhance its 
accuracy. Moreover, it makes the process agile and comprehensive. Generally, recording and playback tools are preferred with Java, Visual Basic, and Perl. Being the usual suspect in the script department, however, there are other black box testing tools that are used by black box testers like Selenium, uh, Appium, Apple, Apple Tools, then we have HP QTPIP, then we have Microsoft Coded UI. We're gonna see everything in detail in upcoming videos. Let's see advantages of black box testing. The tester does not need any technical knowledge to test the system. It is essential to understand the user's perspective. So as, as you remember in previous video uh, where we discussed about the white box testing where you have to be a programmer or you have to uh, you have to own some uh, knowledge about codes or deep knowledge about codes, how the flow is going, how code is working, how loops working, how uh, like conditional statement working uh, so but in black box testing you don't have to uh, l know about anything about the uh, code you just have to understand the user's perspective that how users gonna uh, use it how user gonna interact with it so that will be enough for black box testing then testing is performed after development and both the activities are independent for each other then it works it works for a more extensive coverage which is usually missed out by the testers as they fail to see the bigger picture of the software. Then test cases can be generated before development and right after specification. Let's see some disadvantage of black box testing. Test cases are challenging to design without having clear functional specification. That's right. Uh, then we have it is difficult to identify tricky inputs if the test cases are not developed based on the specification. It is difficult to identify all possible inputs in limited testing time. As a result, writing test cases may be slow and difficult. Then there are chances of having undefined paths during the testing process. Then there is a high probability of repeating tests already performed by the programmer. So basically these are the advantages and disadvantages. Don't worry about anything if we are worrying about we don't know what is test cases and what is uh, or, or other thing functional testing non-functional testing don't worry about anything we are gonna cover all of these topics in our upcom upcoming videos. So let's see today's video conclusion. Black box testing helps to find the gaps in functionality, usability and other features. This form of testing gives an overview of software performance and its output. It improves software quality and reduces the time to the market. This form of testing mitigates the risk of software failures at the user's end. So. This was all for the uh, black box testing. Hope, uh, hope you understand it very well. If you are not, then you can just drop a comment. So uh, in upcoming video, we're going to see uh, all in details what is functional testing, non-functional testing and other testing methods or tools about. So till then, be good, be safe, peace.